Now, and for the future of horse racing in California is in the spotlight as the California State Fair kicks off today. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrienne Moore. Experts with UC Davis are unraveling what caused 30 thoroughbreds to die since last December at Santa Anita Park. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is learning more about how they're trying to stop this troubling trend. Marissa. Well, Adrian, all eyes are on the grandstand and the track as horse racing kicks off day one of the state fair this afternoon. People are concerned about the unusual amount of horse-related deaths from the industry, specifically, as you mentioned, 30 that's taken place in Santa Anita since December of last year. Across the state, people have even protested events just like this one. We spoke with UC Davis researchers who tell us they want to put a stop to these deaths once and for all. Race horses are like any other elite athlete. The spike in fatal injuries at Santa Anita spotlighted what can go wrong in horse racing. Anytime a horse dies for any reason at any California racetrack, its remains are brought here to UC Davis for examination. We continue to work at ultimately no deaths in race horses. And Sue Stover has seen every horse who's died at Santa Anita. The investigation into how exactly these horses died is ongoing. She says her research points to a variety of factors, including poor track maintenance. But Stover says Cal Expo may serve as an example of what can go right on a track. Well, what we've learned from Previous injuries, period, and at Santa Anita are definitely helping us prevent injuries at all racetracks, including the State Fair. During the annual State Fair meet, the one mile Sacramento Oval hasn't had a fatal breakdown in racing or training in two years. And the tragedy in Santa Anita highlighted the need for changes to safety statewide. I think it's good that the industry has a wake up call, and I firmly believe that racehorse injuries are preventable. I get a lot of questions about what exactly happened to those horses coming up next at 5 o'clock. A closer look at how UC, how UC Davis researchers are trying to get those answers. Yeah, it's so bad for the horses. And who knew that uh, the remains were studied here locally? Marissa, thanks. Okay.